what's up everybody welcome oh my god it's just like this looks my hair looks dumb what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i'm gonna be vlogging for the next couple days i have today and tomorrow off so i'm gonna be vlogging if i like put my camera here like would that be funny no why would that be funny um so right now what are you doing? I love when I catch her doing like suspect stuff. Um, so, right now I'm gonna get dressed to go to Whole Foods. I really wanna buy a Hydro Flask because, like, I don't have to explain. I like to spend money and I want a Hydro Flask. Do I have to explain anything else to you? No. I, okay. Let's go. Okay, where am I gonna put my camera? So this is the one that I got. This is the color. You cannot really tell. It's like a neon pinkish orange. It's the 32 ounce. And then I just got the straw and lid to come with it. Cute. That's my freaking millionth water bottle I own. So now I think I'm just gonna probably go home my life is so boring and i like actually have the audacity to vlog like okay oh my god my car is the worst for vlogging oh oh my god that's not that bad okay so i went to cvs and actually got a couple stuff which i want to show you guys I thought I just saw my old manager and I literally almost just cried. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, I had to get some cotton balls for when I remove like nail polish. And then I got three new nail polish colors. Okay, before I show you guys, I just wanna say like, when I was younger, I hated nail polish. Um, and I actually hated wearing nail polish for a really long time. Thinking about it now, I think it was just because like, I was like a Tom girl and I didn't want to wear a like nail polish, but my mom was like so obsessed with nail polish. My mom has like probably a thousand nail polishes and like anyone who's ever been in my house is like my friend can like attest to it. She's like a nail polish fanatic and I was just never like that. Um, and I remember like a couple times where like I did be like, oh, I'm gonna, could you park any closer? Where I was like, oh yeah, like I want to, branch out and like try nail polish color I remember I would be in like elementary school and I'd go to school the next day and I'd be like talking to my teacher and then I'd be like touching my fingers to the paper and I'd get like I would get so uncomfortable and I'd be like I'd feel just like weird now I don't feel that way now I love nail polish I love getting my nails done but ever since COVID I'm not going to go to a nail salon and like I just feel like it's like not a necessity it, it's not a necessity I don't have to say I feel like it's not it's not so I got really into painting my nails at home and I have a pretty decent nail polish collection of my own at home right now. These are the three colors that I got. This one over here is called, starting over here, it's called Bikini Sotini. The one in the middle, middle is Mint Candy Apple and the one on the left is Minimalistic. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna put on my nails when I get home, honestly. Maybe like a pattern of all three, I don't know. <laughs> but I love nail polish. Um, and I always I just feel so silly now thinking about the fact that like when I was young I was just like embarrassed to wear it like Where's the logic? <laughs> um Yeah, so I'm gonna go home. I'm so excited about my hydro flask So I'm home now I <laughs> Need to clean the room again. I just cleaned it yesterday and if you <sighs> If you looked at it now, you would not know that. You would think, actually, I, I haven't cleaned it in a year. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll probably like paint my nails, whatever. Well, I am home now. I did a little bit of cleaning before settling down and deciding to paint my nails. Um, I ended up picking the minimalistic shade because I asked Matt, and that's what he said to do, so. Here I am. He made it easy on me. I knew he was gonna pick that color too. I just like wanted reassurance. Um, so 
while I'm like gonna paint my nails, I wanna tell you guys something that I kinda just like remember happening from like a two, two years ago probably now. And I wanna talk about it. So I'm gonna remove this nail polish and then like talk about it. So about, I wanna say two years ago, I went out to eat with my boyfriend, his friends, and one of his friend's girlfriends, and then the girlfriend's best friend, like best, best friend. And we went out to a really nice place for dinner. And I think at the time, I just like didn't really know how nice of a place it was. And like, I didn't really grasp the fact that like sometimes you have to dress up nicer for some restaurants. Cause I don't really, I didn't like go out to like nice dinners. Do you know what I mean? So, um, I didn't know. And I didn't know that you had to like kind of, most people like dressed up for these types of places. So I went to this dinner in skinny jeans, um, like a tight tank top and Converse. Didn't think anything of it. Um, and so we get to the restaurant, we're all sitting at the table and the guy's girlfriend and her best friend are sitting right across from me. And it's already awkward, like, when like, you're the new, like, not the new person per se, but like, you have two girl best friends that are like, have like, their best best friends, right? And then you're just like there like awkwardly. So it's already like awkward to like be that girl. But these girls are sitting across from me. And this could totally be not what happened. Like I could totally be like making this up. But what I think happened was they're sitting across from me. And the one girl who was her best friend, not the one who was like dating anyone there, she, you know, she puts up the menu in front of her face and covers this where it covers their mouths and she goes and leans over to the other girl the girlfriend and starts talking and looking directly at me and then the girl who's dating the guy who was on the receiving end of whatever this girl said tells the guy and then the guy looks at me and they laugh and I was literally so pissed after that because I remember like really actually genuinely wanting to be friends with the girlfriend um, because like I thought she was really pretty I thought she was cool um, I learned that she's quite frankly not cool you're rude you and your friend were rude um, it made me feel like shit and I just want to say like if you guys are ever in situations like that which like I'm sure we all have been like just remember how unhappy those people who are talking about you are. I I think it's a normal thing to gossip. I really do. I think we all do it and I think it's a normal thing to be jealous. I'm not saying that these girls were jealous of me but I don't really see any other reason to like talk about me right in front of my face if you're not like do you know what I mean? So yeah. I also remember still trying to be nice to them later that night where when we were leaving we went into the bathroom and um so I was like in front of all of them and then they had to wait in a longer line and I was like, Oh, do you wanna go ahead of me? And she looked at me with the nastiest face and was like, No. And I'm like, Oh, okay. sweetheart aren't you <laughs> I just can't like literally ew quite frankly ew quite frankly if we're being honest ew at the nail polish shop so I worked out what the fuck is this I worked out earlier today Brad Mondo shush why are you um, I worked out earlier today, I didn't vlog it, and I've like been like pretty active today, I feel like, like even doing like random workouts while I'm like bored at home. And I've really been wanting to like try this one workout that I saw one time, I don't know what it's called, 
but um and i can't find like a video of it but basically like it looked like it would hurt really bad so like i think they were like on their knees and then you guys can't see what i'm doing and then go back down okay it kind of feels like it would hurt Considering I just did it for five seconds and it hurt. Yeah, it'd probably hurt if I did it longer. Like, I'm so annoying. Okay, so I literally... I posted a new YouTube video today. Wait. Okay, so it's like... So it's like 8 o'clock now. That didn't say 8 o'clock at all. Um, so it's like 8 o'clock now and I just like am telling you guys something. I get so annoyed when... So like whenever I post a new YouTube video, I always post um, it on my Instagram story and I post like the thumbnail and the title and I'm like new video, link in bio. And people have like the audacity to respond to it and be like, wait, what happened? Oh my God, are you okay? I'm like, I'm like, the oh my god, are you okay? It's like, not nah. like, but like, what happened? It's like, I, I, I posted a YouTube video. I, like, watch, I'll tell you what happened. So, what's up, you guys? It's the next day, and I'm about to go into Target and basically just like spend money on stuff that like I don't need, but stuff that I want. Um, yeah, I'm just like not in a good mood right now. I was in a really good mood earlier today, and then, um, I don't know, like, no, I'm not. So, God, I'm like so obnoxious to deal with. But yeah, okay, let's go into Target right now. Okay, so I have a fat ass Target haul for you guys because therapy. Okay, this is technically cheaper than therapy, so whatever. So, these body washes, they're always sold out. Um, well, this particular smell, this is the Stay Hydrated one. It doesn't describe a smell, but they are the best freaking smelling things. Oh my God, they're like, if I could try to describe the smell, it's a clean, fresh cotton. Me and Matt are literally obsessed with this, our favorite. Um, I got a new wet brush because mine is like actually starting to get like disgusting. Like gross. Um, so yeah, I love wet brushes. I only use wet brushes. Um, and then I got some new pens for no other reason than the fact that I wanted them and it's my money. Um, and then to go along with it, I got a new notebook. Um, I told you guys like in my last vlog that the notebook that I literally had just gotten for Christmas I got a ton of water damage So I got a new one Um, I don't know if you guys know but how I like to use notebooks, um I like to put everything all into one notebook. So Daily planning things I want to get done. Um, if I have like a gratitude list I want to do or if I want to journal for the day or literally anything I just like to put it all in one notebook because I I used to be that girl where I would get a planner and then I would get a separate journal and then I would get all these like separate journals and I never finished them and honestly I just like having everything in one notebook now and now no notebooks have to go to waste um, and then I also bought a new book um, this is called group um, it says how one therapist in a circle of strangers saved my life. Um, seems like a good book. I'll let you guys know how I like it. And then next I got Dr. Teal's uh, Epsom salt, of course, because I've been really sore from my workouts and baths are like, did that sound weird? Baths are like the only thing that bring me comfort. Also, the guy who checked me out at Target was like literally the sweetest man ever. Anyways. Then the next is all hair products, all Shea Moisture. So, um, I, okay, so every time I go to this Target, Shea Moisture, in like the section where it's next to like Love and Beauty and all the other hair care stuff, it's always sold out. And everything was sold out. Everything from Shea Moisture was sold out right there. And then I was walking around 
and I think it's where they have like their um they have another sec they have multiple sections of like hair care stuff and I actually found it in another section so I got the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk um my hair is not like damaged but like it just gets so dry and I'm like this is rude so I decided to try this and then I got a new shampoo and conditioner the reason that I got this by the way I know you guys saw that I bought Olaplex recently but Olaplex you're not supposed to use like every single time you wash your hair you're not supposed to use it very often um because of all the protein that it has in it so i did need new shampoo and conditioner i got their raw shea butter moisture retention shampoo and then the, the restorative conditioner these ones the they're color safe and the shampoo is sulfate free which your girl colors her hair and then the last thing that i got is another shampoo this is the shea moisture Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore restore shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo which considering I wash my hair literally like once a week, clarifying shampoos are great. Or you could wash your hair twice, but um I really wanted to try this. So yeah, that's all that I got. I spent way too much money. Way too much money. Um but actually I feel better. I, I'm going to be honest. You're, I'm gonna be honest I feel a lot better I'm gonna go home now actually I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because nothing else is happening tonight and tomorrow I work 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 but um I have an exciting trip coming up which I'm excited to vlog for you guys when it comes I was gonna tell you where I'm going but then I was like ooh stalkers so I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm going until I'm there but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And go to Target and spoil yourself with some stuff. Gosh. I love it! So I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I don't really have anything else happening tonight. Um, and then I work tomorrow and the days after that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will definitely see you soon. I'm hungry, I'm gonna go eat canned tuna.